in this video i'm going to start from the point where i left in the last video uh, was the error that was coming in the last video was that uh, what i did the mistake there was like we can't use the suspended load for doing this algebra thing algebra or vector thing for algebraic functions load cases like i did in the for this you have to use occasional and operational so now in this video what i have done is i have subtracted this l10 from l2 so what we will let it as u1 u2 u3 and minus 1 minus u2 minus u3 and another error it is still coming is that we have defined here two load temperature cases that are two u2 and t3 but we haven't used it see so there is no that that will have not the same so we need to create this now in order to create t1 and t2 and t3 alone what we need to do is we need to subtract t1 so here you can see l2 minus l3 is subtracted and we've got this so we need to create three more operational conditions first of all with w t1 p w t2 t1 w t3 p1 then subtract those from here so let us create three more and one more point I need to give you is that you should always create so this algebraic conditions should be always at the bottom this will actually be at the top now we are creating three more cases maybe q plus t2 plus p1 and W P3 and P1. Now we want to subtract, we need only T2 and T3 that we can get by subtracting it from L3. These are operational conditions. So L16 minus L3. And L seventeen minus L three. This will give us T two and T three. And these are expansion cases. Now you can see we don't have any error. Now we are defining the values for the load cases. Value plus X minus X plus. So the conditions are wind velocity acceleration. First we need to see what is the average velocity of wind there. That's 44.83. So we'll enter here. Load case 1. Wind direction is positive x. And wind profile. This for this velocity and elevation with separate calculation that I can't show in the video. So I'm just gonna assume some wind values like 54 at an elevation, 53 at an elevation of 10 meters on the ground, um, some 60 at an elevation of 20, 72 or something. Sorry. Because as the height increases, the as the elevation increases, the speed of wind obviously increases. I'm just gonna put here some approximate values, but we need to calculate all those values for for results. For entering here. Now I'm gonna copy this so that I can easily use it. So I can go back. This is for plus x. Now similarly for second load like plus z so yeah. this. Uh, here we can choose them third case that is minus x So 